how do you divide with fractions using equations? In this lesson, you'll learn how to solve fraction division problems using equations, algorithms, and the reciprocal of a number. First, some vocabulary. Today's vocabulary word is reciprocal. The reciprocal is any pair of numbers whose product is 1. So for example, if I had the number 3, its reciprocal is going to be 1 third. That's because if I were to represent 3 as a fraction, that would be 3 over 1, and if I were to multiply by the reciprocal 1 third, 3 times 1 is 3 and 1 times 3 is 3, and 3 over 3 simplifies to 1. So again, the reciprocal is going to be any pair of numbers whose product is 1. So how do we find the reciprocal? Well, if you take any whole number, and let's basically just represent it as a fraction. Let's work with 3 again, 3 over 1. To find the reciprocal, just take the numerator, and make that the denominator, and take our denominator of our original number, and make that the numerator. That way, when they multiply by one another, the top and bottom, the numerator and the denominator, are going to equal the same number, and that'll simplify to 1. You can do this with other fractions, too. So if we had the fraction 2 thirds, let's switch the numerator and the denominator. So 2 thirds is reciprocal is going to be 3 halves. So 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6, which simplifies to 1 again. Last one, 4 thirds. Let's switch the top and the bottom. So the reciprocal of 4 thirds is going to be 4 in the denominator, 3 in the top. 4 thirds is reciprocal is 3 fourths. 4 times 3 is 12 and 3 times 4 is 12, and we're left with 1. So how do we use the reciprocal to help us solve division equations with fractions? Let's look at this problem. Sam has five Subway footlong sandwiches. He wants to divide them up into one-third footlong pieces to share at a picnic. How many one-third footlong pieces will he have? If we were to start this out, we'll see that he has five Subway foot-long sandwiches, he's going to divide them each into one-third of a foot. So our original division equation is going to be 5 divided by one-third. If we were to go the old way with models, we could just draw five models, five holes here, divide them up into thirds, and then count. We also just learned that we could represent this as a multiplication equation. where if the numerator is 1 in the fraction, what we can do is represent this as the equation where it's 5 footlongs times 3 pieces, right? 1, 2, 3, per hole will give us 15 total pieces per hole. Now here's how that works with reciprocals. And here's what makes reciprocals so powerful. What we want to do is take our original division equation and basically change it to a multiplication equation again. And the reason this works with reciprocals is if we were to take our original 5 and represent that as a fraction, we're going to divide that by 1 third. Instead of dividing by the fraction, we instead can multiply by the reciprocal. So one third is reciprocal is going to be three over one. So really our equation, if we had our original equation or a multiplication equation that we changed it to is five times three, is really going to be five over one, our five foot long sandwiches, 
multiplied by the reciprocal of our fraction one-third, which is going to be 3 over 1. And then we multiply right across, like fractions. 5 times 3 is 15. 1 times 1 is 1. 15 over 1 is going to simplify to 15. So how many foot-long pieces will he have? Or how many one-third foot-long pieces will he have? He will have 15. Now let's look at this problem. This one's a little bit different because we're working with a fraction where the numerator is not 1. But our skills and our strategy is still going to be the same. Pause the video at this point in time, solve, and then resume if you want to check your answer. Alright, so this problem says that Jordan has 8 pounds of clay that he's using to make plates. It takes 2 thirds of a pound of clay to make one plate. How many plates can Jordan make? First thing we do is if we were to represent this as a division equation, we have 8 pounds of clay, and we're dividing that into chunks of 2 thirds of a pound. So that would be 8 divided by 2 thirds. The way we can do this with reciprocals is we take our reciprocal of our 2 thirds and switch the top and bottom. So the reciprocal of 2 thirds is going to be 3 halves. Because of course 2 times 3 is 6 and 3 times 2 is also 6 which is going to simplify to 1. So our reciprocal is 3 halves. We'll take our original 8 and multiply it by a reciprocal now, which is 3 halves. Change 8 into a simple fraction of 8 over 1, and let's just multiply across. 8 times 3 is 24. 1 times 2 is 2. And then knowing that 24 divided by 2 is 12, Jordan can make 12 plates. So again, what we're basically doing is taking our original equation where we were divided by a fraction. Instead, we're taking that second number, multiplying that first number by the reciprocal of the second. So 2 thirds becomes 3 halves, right here. And then we multiply 8 by 3 halves. And then we just use our basic skills of multiplying fractions. Well, now you might be wondering, how does this kind of work with a model, if we're so familiar with models? Let's see that. So again, here's our problem, 8 divided by 2 thirds, and it'll still work if we use models. It just takes a little bit more work. Have our 8 holes. And we'll divide them by 3, right? Now what's going to happen instead is that we're going to, instead of counting how many thirds there are, there are two thirds. So we're going to make groups of two thirds. So here's one, and I'll use a different color here. Here's one group of two thirds. Here's a second group of two thirds. Second group of two thirds. Third. Our fourth here. Here's our fifth. Sixth. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, just like we got before. So, in this lesson, you have learned how to divide with fractions by multiplying by the reciprocal.